the start. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's live session. Welcome Instagram, welcome Facebook. We are live every Tuesday at 3, like it is today, Tuesday at 3. So um, let's talk about some business, let's talk about some side hustle, let's talk about what's happening um, in your entrepreneurial journey. Do you have any questions? Send them through and we will answer them live and we can talk about them live, interact and discuss some ideas, uh, perceptions and things that we can uh, talk about to improve your entrepreneurial journey, to improve what you're doing with business. So, a bit of news from Millionaire 22. We are busy, we are hustling, a lot of things happening, um, a lot of plans for the year. We're just getting everything into place to, to sort it out and to be able to carry through the whole year. Uh, currently, I just finished my diploma in NLP and life coaching. So I'm now a, a certified NLP practitioner and life coach. So if you guys are, are keen on that, I need to have three students uh, for my practicals to finish my diploma and get my diploma. So if you want some NLP life coaching or um, something in that business coaching or something in the line of that, let me know. And uh, I need three students to complete my practicals for my diploma. Oh yeah, the first three students are free. So just direct message me and we can do a life coaching session for free. Uh, yeah, just, just I need free practicals. Elisma, Marius, thank you for joining in on the live session today. Uh, how are your business? What are you busy with? What are you doing? Is there any questions? Let me know. Okay, great guys. So today we're talking a bit about marketing. Okay, how can I increase my following on social media? What can I do to increase um, already you know have my business on social media I already have everything there how can I increase um, my following and my um, kind of performance on social media so the first thing is um, what is this saying is taking a break from uh, hardcore IT work <laughs> um, and watching the live feed so what can I do on social media to improve my following to improve my performance of my business what can I do immediately today? So the first thing you can do is improve your look and feel. Okay? It's very important to step, take a step back and look what you are posting on social media. Is it professional? Does it look good? And is it impressing other people? Remember the Christmas example that I always give. If you stand in front of a Christmas tree, would you like the present that's wrapped in shiny Christmas wrapping? Or would you like the present that's in a brown paper bag? Okay, the choice is yours. I think everyone chooses the one in the shiny wrapping. So make sure your product is in the shiny wrapping. It looks good. It, it, you know, it, it feels good. Everything looks professional and expensive. Uh, that can immediately increase the amount of people that would actually um, you know, look at your product and look at your company. Elisma? Awesome. She says I need marketing advice. What a coincidence. Elisma, um, great news. Uh, we will go through the rest of the stuff now. Let me know if I'm on track. Just in the shop if you like what you're hearing. Pierre, thank you for joining in. Um, we are talking a bit today about marketing and how I can increase what I do uh, right now. So current, as you all know, I have a business called Gazaroo. We specialize in web design, branding and social media marketing. So today I'm, talk, I'm putting on the marketing hat, uh, the Gazaroo hat. I'm talking a bit from that, from that experience and from what we do at Gazaroo. So basically we take our clients through this whole process. But today I'm sharing that with you guys so that you can improve, improve your social media and your marketing on your own business. So you have your business, right? Marketing platforms are there. You're already doing some social media marketing. First tip is get your look and feel right. Reevaluate. Stand back look at what you're doing and see if it really looks good okay so that's the first step um the second step i have here is i wrote down a few things on a paper just so i can remember what i want to talk to you about because uh, normally i go off point and just go on and go on and go on so the second one is leverage your marketing platforms um correctly 
okay there's a lot of things like for example whatsapp has stories okay you can use whatsapp stories to your advantage to push your business so every day on whatsapp post something personal you know about yourself quintus thanks for joining in uh, today we're talking a bit about marketing uh, so post something on your whatsapp stories about what you're doing today and then every third post put in an ad put in a marketing thing from your business because then what you do is you as you post your whatsapp stories you create a following of the people that have your number on their phones so everyone that has your number on their phones then sees your whatsapp story or your status and you create a following by uh, you know showing some bits and pieces of your life and people see what you're doing and every third post you slide in an advertisement from your business you slide in a little bit marketing on your business and that way you create uh, some additional marketing in your area in your network the people that knows you uh, one important rule I learned in life uh, was from one of my life coaches and he told me that if you do not tell your brother every third month that you are selling websites or doing web design your brother will do web design with someone else it's not that they don't like you it's not that they don't want to support you they just forget people are people so you need to constantly remind your close network of friends family and people that have their number or your number on their phone of what you're doing constant reminder so leverage your social media platforms whatsapp stories instagram stories facebook stories your personal facebook profile um, you know share stuff from your company page to your personal profile so that you can engage your immediate network of family and friends and tell them what you're doing tell them what you're doing so that they know cool um elisma marius pierre quintus johannes nicolas thanks for joining in today's session um, today we're talking a bit about marketing uh, techniques that you can implement to uh, increase your following and your social media base right now so we're talking a bit about that uh, Quintus is saying Facebook algorithm changes starting value brands less a bit scary for small businesses yes I know um, and they have a lot of stuff like they block you from posting on pages a lot um, Oli Salevi thanks for joining in um, and stuff like that so that's why you need to leave, leverage your personal client base as well um, on, on Facebook and WhatsApp and Instagram okay now we talked about the look and feel earlier how your product looks and uh, how it displays what you need to focus on is keeping that consistent the first thing that happens when someone's on your Instagram page and it looks like this and then they go on your Facebook page and it looks like this and then they go on your website and that's outdated like five months ago and it looks different is they lose trust so make sure your brand your business looks the same throughout all platforms okay that's easy then we need to have consistency in the amount of stuff we post you need to stay consistent the worst thing for a business is if you go on their Facebook page and the last post they made was in January 2015 or something everybody wonders are they still in business if these guys post once a year on their social media platform how am I able to get 24 7 support from them or quick service so make sure you post you post constantly it takes a bit of work but what we normally suggest to clients is make a folder let's say every Wednesday I want to post an advertisement make a folder for the month and take one weekend design 10 adverts and put it in the Wednesday folder and then every Wednesday you just have to take one from the folder and post it online because life happens we get busy and we don't have time to post on social media every day so for example um, with a business we just helped out with it's an art business so they do custom drawings go check it out it's niche uh, niche designs so go check it out um, and they do artwork in terms of drawings uh, that they resell of animals and personal and people and what we actually did is we created a, a folder that says niche marketing for the month and then we would populate the Monday folder with examples of the of the drawings 
that they sell. And then we would populate the Tuesday folder with testimonials of people that had bought um, their products and liked it. And then the Wednesday folder would be ads or, you know, specials or something like that. And we populate those things a month beforehand. And then throughout the week, when things get busy, you just need to drag from that folder and post it on your social media platforms. But make sure you post frequently and consistency, consistently so that you look busy and on top of your game. Okay, cool guys. So uh, let's just re retrack, backtrack a bit here. We talked about how your look and feel should be. Wrap your product in a neatly wrapped present. We talked about um, get your, getting your look and feel right. We talked about leveraging your social media platforms. We talked about consistency is key throughout your platforms. And then we talked about consistent posting. Um, this is the success, Grobler. Uh, thanks for joining in. Shalandri, thanks for joining in. Uh, guys, what is up this week, Tuesday, again live at 3. Uh, Elisma, Marius, Pierre, Quintus, Johannes, Nicolas, uh, Oli, Celebi, Shalandri and... Uh, Grobler, let me know what's up, what's happening in your business, how are things going, what do you need to know about your side hustle business and entrepreneurial journey. Uh, today we are talking a bit about marketing. Shoot the questions through if you want to know. Elisma, how are we doing? Is there anything else you would like to know? How is the advice so far? Okay guys, last thing I want to talk about, about increasing your following and increasing your social media effectiveness is paid marketing. Okay, and this is a difficult topic because people don't want to invest money in social media and marketing because sometimes they feel like uh, they are paying for something that's a pie in the sky. But let's be honest, guys. If you have your platform set up, right? Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, whatever, LinkedIn, you're only reaching the people that's currently following you. Okay, you're only reaching the people that's currently following you unless they share your products and services to their following base but you're only me reaching those people so if you want to reach new people you need to focus on paid advertising and marketing so go check out facebook business go check out instagram business you can actually pay for your ad or your business services and products to be pushed into the news feed or live feed um, that other people scroll through on their profiles so that way you can meet new people and you can get new followers and you can specific, specifically target certain people according to their age, to their location, to their uh, gender and to their interests. So for example, if we have a company that only sells products to other businesses, so I'm talking about a business to business company, then we only target people on Facebook that says that they're a CEO or business manager or a business owner because that's going to be your target market so you can really specify and make sure that the right people that you reach the right audience but you're going to need to pay for that so the average marketing um, I can give you a bit of feedback from what we do at Gazoo the average spend that some of the small startup companies do is between uh, 2,000 to 5,000 rand a month that they spend on marketing but you can go as low as 300 rand a month 200 rand a month you can go as high as 20,000 Rand a month or higher. We have clients that's up there in the in above 10,000 Rand a month for their marketing campaigns. So it all depends on what you want to spend. But you need to invest a bit in marketing to reach a new crowd, to reach new followers. Okay, with the Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn marketing, there's also Google AdWords. Go Google Google AdWords and find out what that's about. It's basically bidding on certain words so that when someone Googles for website development Pretoria, your business shows up right at the top. Okay, cool. Elisma is saying, awesome advice, thanks. What about marketing internationally? Um, Elisma, if you have products that you want to sell internationally, like e-products, like e-books, um, documents, you know, that type of thing that you can sell, or if you have the capability to ship internationally, may, you can definitely do that. I'll suggest go read up on a topic called, called brand morphing, okay, to make sure that you cater for that country, 
okay every country has different cultures different views about things and different things that attracts them to buy so make sure that you cater for that country focus on that culture and make sure that you you're, you're marketing effectively in the international market Johannes is asking I'm fresh out of high school I have a lot of plans but I'm struggling to narrow it down how can I start maintain a loyal following Johannes it's all about content 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 quality content 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 so if you want to generate a loyal following give them value give them valuable content that they can use that they that value themselves a, a, a big trip a, a big tip that we always use is become a market leader if you are the most knowledgeable guys on lawnmowers and you make blog posts about what type of lawnmower to buy and you make posts about the newest technology in lawn mowing and you help people like make a video step by step how to fix your lawn mower and how to mow your lawn more effectively obviously people would start seeing you as the guru in lawn mowing as the guru in lawn mowers so who are they going to buy from are they going to buy from Pete's lawn mowers Quiz's lawn mowers or are they going to buy from the guru of lawn mowing himself Okay, so um, Johannes, become a market leader, provide valuable content that people can use that's valuable to them, then they will return the favor and buy from you. For example, I'm giving value every week, every Tuesday. I'm giving value to people in terms of helping them with, with their entrepreneurial journey. So if they want to dig more deeper, if they want more, they can then go and buy my book, How to Become a Millionaire 22. But that is creating value first and then um, getting a return later. So create value, consistently post and provide good content. Same with any business. Okay, this is Theo. Oh, Theo. Hey, Theo Grobler. I'm looking at your name wrongly. Theo Success Grobler. <laughs> hey, Theo, what's up? What about Google Shopping? What is your experience with that? Okay, it depends. I know Theo just launched his new uh, website where you can uh, buy um, um, what's the word? Construction uh, equipment. You just post your link in the comments below uh, for construction equipment like that you can use in construction sites. Uh, Google shopping, online shopping. Guys, I think it's taking the market. Uh, take a lot is moving up like this, uh, skyrocketing in terms of online shopping. But I think it depends on your market. If you are selling farming equipment and to that type of market, I think the, the guys on the, on the farms are still a bit... I talked to another guy last, last uh, month when I was in the Cape for business and we talked about online e-commerce and we looked a bit about at the market and we think that um, online tool shop, go check it out, Theo Grobler, they sell online tools. And I think the farming market is still a bit uh, you know, scared of online shopping, but in the cities, I think you can definitely have an e-commerce shop. You can definitely sell some of your products e-commerce. Just make sure you have the correct processes in place uh, to be able to deliver. But yes, definitely. I think it's a growing market as you can just look at take a lot stock and how they increase in sales. I think people are moving to online purchasing. So definitely get your brand online, guys. Okay. Um, Elisma, Marius, Pierre. Quintus, Johannes, Nicolas, Oli Celebi, Celandri, Theo, uh, Johannes, um, Pierre and Vihandri. Thank you so much for joining in to this week's live session. Let me know if it was good. Direct message me on Instagram or Facebook if you want to know anything more about marketing. I can help. Email me. I normally respond after one if I stop working. And uh, let me know what's up. Tune in again next week, Tuesday. Uh, for the live session at three where we talk about all your um, questions about entrepreneurial journey and business and then I'll see you again thanks for today uh, have a great week see you again next Tuesday on the live feed awesome guys